um, hello hello guys uh, here we have an HP okay uh, they're saying it's not turning on I haven't checked it yet so there was a pattern where I removed the pattern I don't know why but there was a pattern and I removed the pattern anyway uh, let's go ahead and let's check uh, let's see okay I'm using my power supply anyway uh, which one is for the HP and which one is for the Dell I think this one is for the HP yep this is for the HP alright now let's come with a power supply okay take one probe one power we connect it here the 19 volt and the other one to go to ground okay Turning on, that's all you can see. Nothing is taking power from the power supply. Okay, let's do a quick job. Uh, anyway, I don't have an HP charger. Okay, I think I do have an HP charger I'm coming back. Okay, I have a charger here, electron charger. Let's see, it's a charger. Okay, we do get a light, a charging light, and the PC is turning on. Okay, it's turning on, and then it's shut down. Turning on again. There's nothing on the screen, but the screen is damaged anyway. Screen is damaged. Okay, let me shut it down. Anyway, I can't shut down, it's just spinning one way, making noise can't even shut down okay let's hold the power button again hope you can see it's on the wi-fi signal or something fan spinning Anyway, uh, let's go ahead. We have to remove some screws first. Okay, there's nothing here. No screws here, except this one.
Okay, I think this way I need to push this forward. Okay, all right. Start with an extra card out. out, 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 and then let's remove the hard drive. Acer is quite a, a, a problem. Yeah, yeah, but, but you can solve. Uh, let's see guys, uh, let's go ahead uh, let's check again hard drive is out uh, and then let's just cut this out let's turn on and then Shut down. Fan is spinning one way, one way, one way, non stop. Okay. Before we even do uh, anything else, uh, we'll have to wipe the BIOS here. I believe this is more like a BIOS faulty. Uh, let's reset the PC by touching uh, uh, the CMOS battery connector. 
and the board the charge board side and you hold for 30 seconds okay uh, let's go ahead and plug in the charger again okay so it's the fan is spinning then it stops and then it stands one again as you can see the light and then here it spins one way continuously okay let's remove some rims let's do it again turn one turn off turn off turn on Okay, I think here the BIOS. I think here we're dealing with a corrupted BIOS. But I'll be sure of that soon. Okay. So, what we do, let's remove the BIOS. I think I do have the same same motherboard. Uh, let me check. I'm coming back. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's do this. I have a, 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 a good plan. I have a very very good plan. Um, I have the same motherboard. I believe this is uh, this is the same. I'm not sure, but it's more like it's more like the same motherboard. So, that's uh, the same, it's almost the same. See, um, it's not exactly the same, but it's almost the same. Anyway, let's give it a try. Let's see, let's just play around with it. If it doesn't work, we will program the BIOS. Let's swipe the BIOS from these two machines. Let's swipe the BIOS anyway. Remove the port completely, or otherwise, you'll bend the machine. Don't do what I do here. I'm doing this because I'm a, uh, I'm a risk taker, so don't, don't do it. Remove the port, okay? Here we are, we have the BIOS out. Now let's swipe the BIOS chip. Okay. Okay, be careful there. Be careful not to damage some other things. I repeat again, when you are doing this, remove the board complete. Okay, I didn't burn it. I was checking on the other side. If it was bent or not, but yeah. Okay, let me push it a little bit. Let me try to align it a little bit. Trying to align it a little bit. Okay. Let's wait for the board to cool down. It 
steel heart. Okay. Anyway, let's give it a try. Let's see. I believe the base is still warm. It's warm, guys. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. Let's let's plug the charger. Anyway, still doing the same thing. Let me put back the the rain. I wanna see. I swipe the BIOS. I still doing the same thing. Okay, see it's working. All right. So the problem was the BIOS and the screen is damaged, as I was saying. So nothing we can do uh, except changing the whole screen. But I hope you learned that the problem was the BIOS. The BIOS chip was uh, was corrupted. So now we do have a display after swiping the BIOS. Okay. Anyway, I hope you are learning, guys, and uh, press the subscribe button. Do it now. Don't hesitate. Don't waste any time. Just go ahead and press the button. We'll keep on learning more and more until we become uh, masters as well. All right. Uh, let me repeat this again. The problem here was the BIOS. Uh, so I just swiped the BIOS to this uh, board. And then it went. This is my spare board where I, I, I remove parts. You can see even the RAM slot here it's missing or losing it somewhere somewhere. I removed uh, I removed components from this board, and now I just swipe the BIOS in the PC. Work nice, fine, without any issues. It's working just fine now. All right, sharp sharp.